All right, what I did here is I ended up cutting a new bit because the last one I cut, I didn't quite like it, so we cut a new one. And what I first thing you got to do here is get your piece set up. So you get your drill bit set up in here, and then you want to be pretty much centered up with the center of your lathe. So right, if you want to line the tip of this guy up with the tip of that, that's fine. Next thing you want to do is make sure you're square. A couple ways you can do that. You can square up the tool post. Um, if you got a squared off end here, which I do, you can square that. So, and I already squared it up here. Or you can come back over here and square it up on your um, chuck, which I already did. So that squares up our tool post. And then we want to double check it. We can just come in here. You can see right on the edge there. If I cut everything straight, everything. And it hits nice and evenly across there. And that's pretty much the main surface that we want to get is this across here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to put this down here so you guys can see a little better. And it keeps my machine a little cleaner. So it's a plus. All right. What I did here is I have, this is just for demonstration. This isn't for anything, um, any particular action or anything or nut or whatever, but we're gonna kind of use the measurements that I shown earlier. However, I don't have an inch and a quarter piece of round stock, so this guy is a little, it's a little over 110 thousandths, and it should be um, 1.125, but I'm at like 1.110, which is a little less than I want it to be. But this is just a demonstration, and it'll get us give us a good idea what we're doing. All right. So I cut my bit, it's got my helix angle, I got my, um, it's tapered a little bit. And then I came in here and I cut a couple relief cuts, just back cut basically. And then I cut a relief cut on this side here too. <clears throat> so next thing we do is just set up our lathe. You don't need to, when you're doing square threads, you don't need to touch the compound. compound is not needed at all. All your work, all your movement is going to be with the cross slide. So this is the only knob here you're going to touch. Don't touch compound. All right, next thing, we just set up our lathe and I believe I have my lathe set up here. Let me just double check. In center 10. Okay, we're doing Ted thread and per inch. <clears throat> and we're going to go to a depth of Fifty thousands, because that's what we figured we needed in our calculations. With my particular lathe, I'm just gonna touch off here, and then I'm gonna zero out my cross slide, because all my measurements are gonna be on my cross slide. So there, I'm at zero. All right, now we're ready to get going. We got our threading dial engaged, and being that we're on a even number, we can do any notch or number and I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my gauge here make sure we're good okay so this is just like threading any other thread I'll back up here and then I'll show you a little closer shot so I'm going to test my lathe out here make sure I got everything running the way I want it to back here in we're going at a fairly slow speed. And all right, I'm at zero out. So I'm gonna go in five thousandths on this first cut, just because our first cut usually just to make sure if we were a thou or two off on our, our setting. Okay. And engage our gears. Make sure we're going in the correct direction. We are. Alright. 
now we're good to go. So I'm going to show you a little bit over here about what I'm doing with my hands first. You can see I'm watching my threading dial, waiting for the number to come up. Sorry if my camera sideways, but... <laughs> so there's number two, so I'm going to throw it. I'm in five thousands. And if you can see there, we're cutting a nice thread, which you can't see, but... And then right at the end of our cut, we drop our half nut. So we'll zoom in and show you the threads. We'll stop it here and show you. And they look like they're cutting okay. A little tiny bit of chatter there, but that's okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to to make sure that our threads are the pitch that we want them to be. So in this case, they're 10 threads per inch. Here's our 10 threads per inch. And you can check them on either side, it doesn't matter. And those look perfect. All right. So let's take another pass. The only thing with this is you got to remember your last reading on your dial. So if you can see on mine, I'm at approximately five thousandths of an inch. Okay. So that was our first cut from zero. We went to zero to five thousandths. And if you have a, they make a threading stop here, you can use those too, but this works out pretty good. So we're just going to go back and go back to five thousandths. So that was, five thousandths was our last cut. So we want to go, let's do another three thousandths. So now we're at seven thousandths. So that's the only downside to doing square threads is you're doing everything with a cross slide and you got to remember what your last mark was. All right, let's crank it up and cut another thread. So I'm move my carriage over to hit a hit a mark. All right, see we're getting a nice curl on our chip there. Cutting really nice. Drop the half nut at the end, come back, so our last cut was 7,000, so let's go up to 10, and then move over to get to a notch. So we're cutting really nice, and we're in 10,000, so we only got 40,000 more to go. There we go. We're at 10, now we're going to crank into, say, 13. We'll go to 3 to uh, 4 thousandths per. And I'm going to engage my half nut before I start my lathe up here because my threading dial is already on a notch, so I can just start it up and it'll go. So we're waiting until the end of our threads here. leave it running for you guys. So we're at 13. And it's always nice you can look before you move the dial you're at 13 so now we're going to 15. Should I go to 16. Uh, one thing you want to make sure, make sure that your compound if you haven't locked it down with your gibbs that it's tight so you take the backlash out of it. So now we're at 16.
sure to use plenty of oil too when you're cutting square threads. We're at 31 thousandths. Alright, what I'm going to do now is take just a cleanup cut because remember I said at the beginning that my main diameter was a little, so I'm at 31, 32, and clean up. My major diameter was a little bit off, a little, for this particular thread, like I said, this is a demonstration so it doesn't matter, but for this particular thread it's a little uh, less of a diameter than I needed. So to make up for that, with this particular case, we're just going to cut not so deep. So I'm going to cut not so deep to show that my receiver will fit on there to get the correct dimensions. So let's just take one more cut here, It'll kind of a clean up cut, taking just a light little skim off of there. I might actually do one more just, just for the fun of it. light skim coat. So theoretically this depth would be 50 thousandths for our particular nut that we're using. However in this case see I left off at 32 there I'm just going to scoot this out of the way. However in this case being that we had that diameter difference. And if you got air, that would work too. Actually, I do have air. Usually don't use air on my old self bend, but. I'm not getting too crazy with it. All right, let's check this thing out. So theoretically this thing should fit because our minor diameter is pretty dang close. Our major diameter is ten thousandths, fifteen thousandths narrower, but this isn't a barrel, this is demonstration, so you know, if this was a barrel it would be spot on, but so we're about two thousandths less than what we should be on our cut. And she's still pretty tight there. And this, you know, I'm just using this as a nut. Don't think of it as a receiver here. It's a nut. It's my nut. So, now what we can do, everything is still engaged. And you're asking why I use a tailstock, just because I like making things as rigid as I can. So we're going to take another... As at 32, I'm going to go all the way to 30. I'm going to do another 2000s cut on this guy. Uh, because I got about halfway on there and and it almost went on, so I'll just do two because two will work. It's a nominal number that I figured out. All right. And the nice thing about doing these square threads is if you zero your cross slide out back here. Every time you increment over, you can see exactly, or if you have a DRO, you can see how, exactly how deep you're going. So that's a plus. So we left off at 34 there. And you can, some people like to write this stuff down so they don't forget while well, they're in the middle of testing these. It's always a good idea. It's easy to write stuff down and you don't forget, in case you do forget. All right, let's try this again. Here's my nut, and it's screwing on there pretty good, and we're getting a tight spot there. I might have a tight spot in my receiver, which I think I do. There we go. I think somebody drilled and tapped this guy after, after the fact and didn't clean the threads out of it. However, this just goes to show that um, 
their square threads. So there we go. Yeah, those might need to be cleaned out. Theoretically, this should be, and I, I haven't measured it here, but this should be perfect all the way, you know, from here to here, they should be the exact same. If you're laid this setup correctly. All right, so I'll give you a little close shot of that guy, and whoop, and that's it, man. There's not much to threading square threads. They're pretty easy, actually. I think they're super easy. The key to it is having your bit, this guy right here, having that cut to fit your thread that you're cutting. The closer you can get that bit to your helix angle and your width and all that good stuff, the better your threads will come out. These turned out pretty good actually. I got a little, I could probably sharpen my bit and take one more little skim cut, but um, the bottom of the threads look okay there. So let's clean this up and I'll show you a little closer shot. Alright, so there it is, our square threads. So you can see there, they turned out okay. A little tiny, tiny bit of chatter at the very bottom, but that's a pretty big hunk of metal to be taken out at once. And if I would have taken a couple more skim cuts on the bottom, that probably would have cleaned up pretty good. All right. Test her out one more time here. Remember, this is an example. The receiver is my nut. Sure, she threads in pretty good. All right. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um... There's a few more tricks to do in these when I when I actually do a barrel, but that's a whole different story. This is just basic, simple square thread cutting. It's really not that hard. I don't know. A lot of people seem to have issues with it, but as you just seen, it was it cut really well on my lathe, and it's not that difficult um, if you have everything to s set up right on your lathe to get your lathe to cut like this. So there we go. I hope that helped some of you guys out. I know a bunch of guys watched my other videos that I put about up about a year ago and it was just horrible quality so hopefully this gave you a little better uh, visual idea of what's going on. If you like this video please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my channel. I got a ton of other videos like this on there. And till next time Stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.